Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. So this week we're going to be combining two of your favourite books. Create this book with reverse colouring. Reason being I was flicking through my create this book trying to find something to do and I found this page which is create an ink blot. Now we all know what reminds us of ink blots is the reverse colouring book. If you haven't seen my videos on the reverse colouring book, basically Kendra Norton has created this book where she has done the painting part of a colouring book. So instead of doing the line work and us colouring it in, she does the colour work and then we do the line work after that. So it's a little bit different and it always reminds me of the ink blot challenge because you've got to discover what you see. You've got to try and portray that on paper using your fine liners. So when I saw this challenge in the creators book, I was like, this is perfect to combine with reverse colouring. Because I can create my own reverse colouring page on here and then do the line work. So if you don't have the reverse colouring book, but you do have your create this book, it means you can still do some reverse colouring too. So let's get straight into it. Let's look at the challenge. Create an ink blot. Drop ink, paint or any other coloured fluid onto this page. Make observations about it. First up, I'm going to do the prompt. I'm going to add all the colour onto there. And then I'm going to loosen up by doing a page in my reverse colouring book. And then come back to this and do the observation, aka line work. So what I'm doing is I'm using my Daniel Smith watercolours and adding loads of water to them so I can basically drip it around the page. It's really hard to do this because you almost need to be blindfolded so that you're not thinking of a particular picture. So I'm just doing lines and shapes and to try and make it as obscure as possible so that when I come to do the line work you know I've got to try and work it out. Ooh. So now we've done the ink blot let's have a look in the reverse colouring book just to warm up my creative juices. Um, yeah uh, what do we want to do this week? Should we have a little flip through? Do comment below which one you would like me to do. Um, Oh, the numbers aren't pages. The numbers aren't pages? <laughs> the pages aren't numbered, so you're just going to have to try and describe it to me. <laughs> Some normal bouquets, or do we want to go a little bit more complicated? This one is hard, but really interesting because I can see a face straight away. It's really like crooked nose and some sharp eyebrows. Loads of lines, which could be the hair. But I am really scared of drawing faces i find it really difficult here's what i did in the last reverse coloring video did these lovely leaves i was really proud of that one maybe we should do a couple yeah um i like that one see i'm gonna do the trees first just to warm up then we'll go back to our ink blot do that in the creators book and then go for a challenge and try and do this face Oof. i'm gonna use a variety of different fine liners that way it just makes it a little bit more interesting. So this one's been fantastic for it actually. It's my Unipin brush fine liner and that way I can really bring the foreground to the front. Got my 0.5 for slightly finer detail. Then my common one that I always use is my 0.8. I've got this really tiny fine liner and it's 0.38 so this one just adds that really lovely detail. Finally I've got my Unipin grey in 0.5 so this is really good for really doing that distant kind of fine lining. Yeah, I'm going to start with the trunks of the trees and then start going into the the powder puffs of leaves. So I'm not sure if you've seen my other videos where I've done the reverse colouring. Now what I find really helpful is going round the different shades of colour just to add more interest. I also sometimes go for a bit of a zentangle feel and just add loads of lines and circles and different shapes in there just to make it a little bit more interesting. What are we seeing here? Do comment down below. Straight away I'm seeing some like creepy faces look like a basic triangle nose, eyes, mouth, or maybe even bigger mouth. I don't like that. I don't want to do weird creepy faces. I see lots of like Egyptian kind of symbols, but I want it to be a full piece. 
<laughs> Help me out here, guys. What are you seeing? Do you know what we could have, actually? Is a butterfly really trying to pull something out of this? What do you think? Let's ignore that face. Keeps looking at me. Should we go round the edge just to bring that butterfly in? Should we leave it at that? Beautiful. <laughs> No, don't worry. This is going to look beautiful. S just bear with me. Let's just keep going until it's all done. Look at that. It's already improved it, I think. Subscribe if you think the black background was a good idea. Now, let's keep going and make this look like a incredible butterfly so again with this one i've gone very much for a zentangle style design because i couldn't really go for something that was realistic because it's not very symmetrical and butterflies are symmetrical so i just added loads of lines of different thickness and then i went in with some of my bleed proof white just to add little white sections and make it a bit more interesting so let's move on to the last portion of this video which is where i saw this face in this reverse coloring book and I couldn't believe that I could pull this face out of such an obscure abstract painting and I couldn't help but see it so I just tried to really push out what I could see adding the thickness behind the face to add some shadow in and then I decided to add some flowers in her hair and made her look like she had her eyes closed and I just found it really enjoyable to try and pull this picture out of nothing so here you go here are my finished pictures I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's inspiring you to you know just throw some paint on a page and see what you can come up with you know just practice using your imagination it's so so good to help you with your art skills thanks so much for watching do continue to watch more videos and i will see you next week bye